Alright, hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we have another Kenshi 2 community update, number 42. We have some t-shirts, as it looks like, and also some information on the Hiver models, as you can see right over here. We're going to go through it, read it together, and see what they're talking about. Alright, so they start by saying, hi everyone, welcome to our next community update. Sorry it's been a while, but it's pretty difficult to put together, uh, to put these together without spoiling juicy details to you. Relax, enjoy, okay, though, uh, because we will be releasing another update much, much quicker than usual after this one to help uh, satiate your cravings for more Kenshi 2 content. Okay, so we're going to get another update uh, sooner than the last one. Cool. Uh, then they say things are good with the Lo-Fi team. We're making excellent progress, sharpening our tools, and constantly evolving our processes. That sounds like corporate nonsense, we know, but the detail would bore you and it basically means we're getting Kenshi 2 made at a good rate. Cool. Productivity. We are uh, fully on schedule and even ahead of schedule in some areas, so uh, we're just not telling you what the schedule is just yet. Cool. Sounds good. We got some t-shirts and stickers coming soon. Listen, stickers are underrated. I feel like whenever, like, I feel like so many t-shirts get sold... But I feel like they just made some stickers as well. Like whenever people come out with merch and stuff, stickers are underrated, man. Like ones that you can like stick to a laptop, ones that you can just like stick to like anything. You know what I mean? Like it's just like, yeah, they're good. Um, we got some merch. There we go. We got a link right there. Cool, cool. We also have some uh, stickers. Yeah, like this is good. This would be something like, you know, like putting beep. Obviously, everyone loves beep. Like, yeah, this is good right here. Alrighty, moving on to Hivers. Okay, so this week we're going to take a little look at the design behind the beloved Hivers, which we have some big plans for Kenshi 2. We'll, our, we'll let our 3D artist Vitaly lead you in. Alrighty, so he states, As our friends will know, in the first game we had different Hive sub races, but they, are, but they all were using the same model and only had color variation in terms of textures. We decided to change things up with Kenji 2 and give them the love that they deserve by making a new unique design for all additional sub-races. Cool. As the Western Hive, we decided uh, to keep it as close to, as possible to the original. Alrighty. Then uh, the, uh, the concept artist states, the Hiver is blood by fans and really interesting design. I remember being filled with wonder at my first encounter with one of these uh, stick-legged creatures wandering alone through the desert. So working on the Hiver for Kenshi 2, a main point was to not implement changes that are too drastic and would change its visual identity. I think that's a good uh, choice. Alrighty, 3D artist Tali started out with the main body of work while in the Hiver with, uh, while refining the uh, design. After that, I made some overpaints to try to to try different suggestions we came up with and see if they would improve the design further. Alrighty, he says, for example, we tried implementing the softer wrinkled skin on the elbows and as the shoulders as well. The idea was to create further visual distinctions between drone types other than the head. Okay. You're talking about these right here, right? Okay, okay. I see it, I see it. I was going to say very early uh, work in progress models. Okay, so these could possibly change uh, in the future. Alrighty, and then uh, they say another thing we tried was changing the look of the horns. The idea here was to strengthen the appearance of them and underline the fact that soldier drones uh, would be able to utilize their horns in combat as well as in social disputes. We decided to keep the original appearance of the horns, but but we'll keep the possibility of more length variations even more so within the character editor. Okay, so you can like, so I'm guessing they start out kind of like this, but you can obviously morph the, you know, Okay, so yeah, here you go. You got like little prototypes right here. So you got the, like the hammerhead shark one right here. You got the long, you got the kind of in between. You got like the actual like regular face. Wish this was a little bit bigger. But yeah, it looks very, very detailed. It looks kind of slimy, kind of gross. Very, very detailed. Cool. Very cool. What did they say right here? And then we decided for some adjustments and discarded others. The result. Uh, after Vitaly worked, his magic can be seen here. The final version turned out beautifully. Final version. So is this the final version? Interesting. Can I open this in a new tab or? Okay. Yeah, like this one, just like a regular human head. And then you got the, uh, the OG. Kind of like a hammerhead. 
They're kind of similar to that one as well. Very cool. Very, very cool. And uh, that looks like it will be it for me. Again, listen, I'm excited. Uh, I need to start uploading some more Kenshi as well. It's been a lot of games coming out, man. But yeah, very excited. See how it all goes. Uh, link will be down below in the description. Get yourself a shirt if you want to or a sticker. But yeah, that will do it for me. See you guys in the next one.